this footage is from Corey Williams on YouTube. He is the uh, nation's number one beast over there. Go check his full trainer video out. I threw my overlay on the video, and you can see me on the right here, moving up on the right. Uh, we are Project Echelon here at Joe Martin Stage Race. This is stage two. It's Devil's Den. It's got a few challenging loops, but the point in the race right now is entering Devil's Den, which is pretty good descent, and there's a break up the road. You can just barely see them right there, and they need to come back. So I'm on the front, Kate has just pulled off, and it's my turn to get pulling. Pulling pretty hard up this hill. I know it's going to hurt the rest of the field, but maybe my guy Tyler Stites back there can relax into, I think Mount Sequoia is the finish of this stage. We're going to look at the descent, but this gives you a little precedence for why I'm going to be at the back of the field when we enter this descent. Do a pretty big match here. My heart rate is 181 beats per minute. It usually doesn't get that high, so I'm going to be pretty tacked out by the time we catch this breakaway. So I'm going to have to filter to the back of the field before we get to the descent, and I'm going to have my work cut out for me to get back into the group because after the scent there's a good climb and it usually separates there i'm starting to let up i know we're close enough to this breakaway that other teams will bridge and legion's been on the front they want this break back too so they're I think this is sam boardman here he's gonna move up and collect the rest of this breakaway along with dender disruptors edder frere there has the one of the jerseys and we catch the breakaway jumping in to the descent there is a good uphill that you can see us start on. Positioning is key into the descent, but it's a fast straight descent until you get to the switchbacks. So we get to this first switchback and I'm already two seconds behind, so roughly at the back of the pack uh, before we even get to that first switchback. And once we get to the first switchback, everyone back there is breaking. So I get accordioned into five seconds behind the pack. Riley is gonna be our marker for who is in the pack slash at the front of the pack and into that second switchback i'm already 10 seconds behind riley so i'm gonna have to make up 10 seconds by the bottom of this climb in order to get to that kom help my team out i'm gassed from that effort before and it's starting to rain but none of that stops bike racing we have the descent here no granigan on the left telling everybody to slow down Brian Gomez takes that as a cue to send it, and rightfully so. He is a very fast ascender. Here's Riley Sheehan right in front of Corey's camera here, and we're going to follow them through this descent. You can see on the left, Riley's little uh, map dot is blue and green, and then mine back behind is going to be red. This is the first switchback, and Brian Gomez, and I think that's Alec Cohen, a local. He's done this descent many times before up front in the Legion kit. And they're gonna send it. Uh, they're gonna send it really hard. This whole descent has a bunch of potholes that you've gotta dodge. We've done team camps on this before, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. But you can see there's rain collecting on the road. And what gets really scary in the rain is those paint lines. I've had plenty of run-ins with paint lines. Cue video of me crashing at Intelligentsia. But this is before that, so shouldn't be too scared of them. I'm pretty much just descending on one side of the yellow line, unless I have to switch over for another sided turn. And right now, I'm, yeah, probably probably 10 seconds behind, trying to catch up, hitting it out of that other turn there. You can see me on the bottom doing 600 watts out of the turn, trying to catch up 43, 44, 45 miles an hour. So I'm booking it to try and catch up with these guys. Brian, up front, got the KOM on this in the rain absolutely sending um and alec was right there with him so they are flying riley sheehan here not quite willing willing to risk it which in the end was a pretty good gamble riley ended up winning this stage spoiler alert on mount sequoia excellent job from him they actually won joe martin overall this past year which was really cool had a nice little duel in the crit afterwards you can check out my full video of the crit um if you just click the link below so i'm catching up these guys caleb claus included are kind of chilling alex hohen on the left is going to start sending pretty hard too he's going for overall and doesn't want to miss out on this breakaway if you get a breakaway on a descent you're pretty much getting it for free like you're not going to be putting in 
that many more watts than anyone else, you're descending a little bit harder. And Gomi is the epitome of sending a little harder. I'm going to start catching up. We've got, I think, Simon Daniels here. Excellent sprinter. Can send for sure. Um, it's starting to rain pretty good here. So rain starting to collect. The rest of the stage, we would just be absolutely soaked. And we would have to pull in the front. There was a breakaway later on. But into these corners, you can see, it's just super slick on all this stuff. Everybody's kind of being hesitant through all these corners. And I'm still trying to catch up behind. I think at this point, I'm actually on Corey's wheel or right on the back of this little group. And I'm going to start filtering through the best that I can. None of our guys are up front. Ooh, there's mulch on the inside there. And we're... We're trying to catch this group up front. You can see they're out of sight. They've got, I think, 10 seconds on the group at this point, on me at this point. So I'm noticing that we're missing some guys up front there. We're getting close to the end of this descent. I think there's maybe three switchbacks left. Come past where the time trial starts there on the left. And guys are going pretty fast still. Like, it's raining, but... Roads are closed. We've got an ambulance behind us. This is a time where you can send it a little bit harder than you ever would. And here I am on the left, having just caught Corey and coming past, I see it's it's time to go. Hoping my guys are back there. I just did a little check back to see where everyone else is at. And nobody's gonna follow this wheel because it is soaking. And we were running Pirelli tires, which were pretty hit or miss on slippery stuff. I like them in the rain pretty well, but again, I did have that pretty good crash on the paint at Intelligentsia. This bridge took out tons of tires during this race, lots of potholes. I catch up to this little group of Alex Owen and I think Simon Daniels, and then I'm going to pull through. You can see me at the bottom doing 600 watts up this hill. We have a KOM coming up. There's Cade. I notice that the whole group is catching up, so I'm going to keep the pressure on. Just make sure everybody's gonna have to do a little bit of work up this hill unfortunately that is Cade on the front doing that little bit of work so i look back right now and see that crank it back down to 180. don't want Cade to have to do work to catch me um, that's just backwards teamwork so we're gonna go a little easier now wait for them to catch on and then once they catch on i'm gonna start ramping it up again up to the top of this hill i was hurting um, so got on the front hit it pretty hard and pretty much got dropped by the end of that. The rest of the race was super hard, just catching back on, and then we pulled another breakaway back by the end. Riley Sheehan with the win. Heck of a day, lots of rain. Thanks for watching this video. Looking forward to making a few more of these this year. If you like this style of video, go ahead and subscribe. Be doing plenty of crits and other cool races, starting with Swamp Classic. I'm also a coach with Evoke. You can check us out at Evoke dot bike or just email me at will at a vote dot bike thanks see ya